All right, you bad man pajamas. It is that time of day again. We are here with me and Dan the Man for another episode of Pitch Slap. Yes! Almost. We're getting closer every day. So, I'm glad you tuned in. Uh, if you didn't catch last week's episode, that was me sharing you a Hawaiian thriller. And now we got Dan the Man on deck to drop some funky fresh knowledge and possibly scare your socks off. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking a 180, my my friend. Um, you're going to be totally surprised by what I'm pitching tonight. Um, it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome! Okay. I'm not even kidding. Time to um, get that holiday spirit. Yeah, so I will say, this started as a joke. Um, if you're not familiar, Stefan, Hallmark is currently doing Christmas in July. Oh. All through July, they're showing Christmas movies. Uh, and... Uh, I'm just gonna say I really kind of enjoy the Hallmark Christmas movies. They're corny as hell. Um, some of them are super predictable, but you know what? My mom and I, we ironically love them, and that like we hate watch them, but we also kind of just like like to watch them. You know what I mean? So, um, I joked to my mom that I could write. Oh, my Christmas movie. And she's like, go for it. And so I wrote something, you know, just a premise. And you know what? I'm going to run with it. So um, so if you're not clear on the parameters of a Hallmark movie, um, it's not a horror. Stuff. It is a rom-com. Um, and this rom-com is in the vein of Fifty uh, First Dates. Uh, Groundhog's Day, and a little bit of the movie Enchanted. I don't know if you've seen that one with Amy Adams. Yeah, it's it's got a, l- a little little flavor of those. I feel like um, so has to do with a a woman. Uh, I'm gonna name her Noelle because why not? It's you know. Um, uh, so she, much like Drew Barrymore in Fifty First Dates, has some unidentified form of amnesia, which is like, we'll call it like non-medical amnesia. It's more like magical amnesia. <laughs> you know, so um, this woman, um, she wakes up every day and she thinks it's Christmas. You know? Um, and clearly it's not. But the town around her um she's like this woman is like so infectious in her love of Christmas. Like the town around her like really rallies behind it. Like they visit her bakery um like every day and they like buy Christmas goodies even though it's not Christmas. You know, they're just like they're willing to play along with this, you know, just just because they love this woman so much. Um so in comes this grizzled, uh dead inside uh, psychologist who has just had a bad divorce, we'll say. We'll say he has a bad divorce. Uh, and he is coming in to study um, this woman and possibly help her out. Um, you know, so he's tr- studying her form of amnesia, you know. Uh, and in order to, like, study, he, like, kind of has to, like, g- go deep into the groundwork. You know, he has to, like, kind of like be her friend, you know, just like act, you know, act like he's in on the thing, you know. Um, And in the process of it, she warms his dead inside heart uh, and he falls in love with her. And the reason he falls in love is because he sees the way she interacts with his, his daughter. You know what I mean? Like, that's always the thing in Hallmark movies. Like, you see somebody interact with your kid and you're like oh my god i love this <laughs> i love this person so um you know he falls in love with her uh she makes like even though she's reliving the same day uh you know she, like she didn't have any memory you know of the days that happen um uh, and one one day like she you know she uh i don't she asked him on a date or something that like you know that makes things a little weird because he's like a doctor, you know, and then like breaking professional protocol and stuff. 
uh, you know, so lines are blurred and people are like, what are you doing, guy? Um, and I guess at the end, sort of like in 51st Dates, like the girl figures out something's going on, you know, like she snaps out of her amnesia spell. Um, you know, I, I was thinking, so have you ever watched 51st Dates, Stefan? Yeah, it's got to do with, you know, Drew Barrymore had an accident and that's why she has the amnesia. I was thinking this girl had an accident. She was driving in a car with her, you know, her husband or something, and they got into an accident while, like, listening to Christmas music, you know. Uh, it, I don't know. It gets a little dark. Maybe that's not fit for Hallmark, but I was like, it's got to have some kind of explanation, but I was like, maybe she hears something, like, something, and it, like, re-triggers the memory for her, and then she starts remembering, um, and it ends up being, like, the worst Christmas day ever, you know what I mean? Like, she, you know, this woman has every day is Christmas, and that day when she remembers is like the worst day. The town is super glum; they're super bummed out. And they're like, "We need to, we need to make amends with this girl." You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's as far as I got, you know, with it. I, <laughs> I mean, it's silly, it's corny, it makes pretty much no sense, but. You know, I think Hallmark should call me up. Uh, I think it could be fun. They would definitely call you up. This is a gold mine. Like, this is a literal gold mine. If they made this, they're like, oh, what what are you calling it? Okay, um, so I have a couple of ideas. I usually don't have names. Um, one of them was, like, Christmas reruns, because it's, like, rerunning the same day. Uh, another one was, like, where Christmas is, <laughs> where every day is Christmas. I don't know. I feel like that would be such a, like a, a Hallmark title. Um, th those were the two I was spitballing. I uh, I'm not beholden to any title. So if you have a better one, feel free. But I do have a cast in mind, Stefan. Yes, um, Dad, give me I don't, more. Yeah. So uh, Alexa Penavega and Carlos Penavega, who are. Uh, Regulars on the Hallmark channel. I don't know if you know who they are. <laughs> I don't. Um, Alex, have you seen Spy Kids before? Was she the girl? Yes. Alexa Panavega was the girl on Spy Kids. She is now a regular on Hallmark channel. Uh, and her husband, Carlos Panavega, uh, he was on Nickelodeon doing some kind of goofy thing. Uh, goofy show. Sorry, not goofy. Um, kid show uh, about a band. You know. But they're like an actual couple in real life, and they are a couple on Hallmark <laughs> Channel too all the time. That's cool. um, so I was thinking uh, they they could bring the heat, they could bring they could bring the chemistry, and if not, I, I demand Lisa Chabert has to be in there somehow. Uh, Lisa Chabert is the girl who plays Gretchen from Mean Girls, but oh. she is yeah she now exclusively has like a contract with Hallmark. Um, which is good for her, you know, like, yeah. you know, good for her, but, uh, she's gotta be in there somehow. I don't know if she's playing a lead or if she's playing like a best friend or if she's playing the divorce wife, you know, of the, the psychologist, but she's in there somehow. So, yeah, we're getting all of, all, all of the Hallmark regulars in there. And I don't know if you've seen this, some amazing people on the internet have come up with like a Hallmark Christmas drinking game, um, you know. So I thought it would be fun to like kind of take that drinking game to, to heart and like kind of use that as like a you know a litmus test for this movie. Like how Christmas is it? You know what I mean? So kind of like go through every drinking game list and be yes. like, do they drink hot chocolate? Yes, that's going to be in the movie. Are they going to? Build a gingerbread house. Yes, it's gonna be in the movie. Are they gonna have a snowball fight? Yes, it's gonna be in the movie. Are there candy canes? Fuck yes. You know what I mean. Fuck so yes. like, I'm just like everything that is in on those lists. Like I kind of want to go down the list and be like, by the end of it, you're gonna be wasted. You know what I mean. So I want <laughs> this to be a good. I want this to be a good time for all of the Hallmark Channel like audience. I know that 
you know, they're probably women, you know, in their 40s, but they they deserve a drinking game for that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we don't know what audience is like. My sisters love the Hallmark Channel, so do my mom. So, like, they're going to grow up, keep watching this. They'll probably yeah. watch this movie when it comes out on Hallmark. But I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm probably not a staple of their audience, but I watch it regularly <laughs> anyway to connect with, you know, I don't know, to do something with my mom, you know. So. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, so. it's something that's always on. People, yeah. yeah, no, keep going. Tell me more, Dan. No, I think I think uh, I think that's it. I watched the theme a little bit, but yeah, I don't know, something different. Yes, for sure. Yes, there's uh, some deep cuts right there, bro. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I gotta be honest, probably the most fun I've had on an idea in a while, and I think it was just because I'm not gonna write this, you know. But on my no, channel, you need to write this. Write, write it as a treatment, right? Just like, right, like, like, I'm, I'm so serious. I'm so serious, dude. Like, look, it might have been as a joke, but like, look how much, like you said, how much fun you had. I had fun just listening to this. I don't watch Hallmark, but I want to watch Hallmark, Dan. I need Christmas every day in my life. People need that. The world is sad and scary and it's not happy. We need a Noel and a, and a psychiatrist. To know what love and Santa can do for the soul. Right. Yeah, I figure Santa, I, that's another thing. Santa's got to be in there somehow, you know? Like, I don't know. Maybe there's a surprise twist where, like, Santa was for her dad. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know. Something crazy. Or, like, I, I say that as a joke, but, like, there are Hallmark movies where, like, that is the premise. You know what I mean? Okay. So, uh, like... I want Santa to be in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so, dude. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That can happen. I don't know how you'll do it, but it'll happen. But for real, I don't, know either. I don't know how long like a treatment has to be, like a film treatment. But I am, I am so serious when I say this to you. Please, please give me one second. How long is a, is a like if you write it, write it as a treatment, man, and then just like. We're gonna, you gotta, you gotta send it to Hallmark. Like, even if they don't do anything with it, the point is they will. They need to. They need to, because this is original. It plays on all the tropes that they come up with. It's fun. It's aware of itself. The people are clearly just there to have a good time. They're aware of what they're doing. And it's wholesome. You know what I mean? And, and I feel like, the dialogue you would bring to this is better than the kind of dialogue that Hallmark normally has. I don't know about that. You you obviously have not seen <laughs> a good Hallmark movie because like some of them are like they cut they cut deep, man. Okay, okay, you're right. I don't need make me a believer, Dan. You've made me a believer, okay? Sometimes you just need a Hallmark movie. <laughs> All right, Dan. Okay, roughly 40 pages just, like, outlining this, okay? Like, it could even be 20. Just even 20, just beats. Like, oh, you have it, like, down by down by down, just like you gave out. But with, like, maybe you could... You, my friend, Hallmark awaits you, okay? They don't know it yet, but they need to be in the Dan Simcock business. I, I am very flattered, Stefan. I don't know if I will do this. Um... It seems like a lot of work for something that I, <laughs> I, I will say, um, in all honesty, uh, I, I did have a lot of fun just like going that shit cuckoo bananas on this idea, uh, you know, and I don't know, I'm, I'm happy that <laughs> it makes you, it, it got you riled up a little bit, I don't know, I just did not expect that, so. This is what people need. You're what people need, Dan. No, I think people need a lot more than a silly Hallmark movie. But thank you, Stefan. Look, uh, they need, they need, they need to be. They need some sunshine and happiness, you know. And and this Hallmark is a glimpse of that in the shadow of the evils of the world. <laughs> but I love that you went through a drinking game and you're like, yes, let's just run through this and see if I can incorporate all of this naturally into a story. And that's awesome. Yeah, I think 
I think it could be really fun just to like boom 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 like right down the drinking list. And I think it could be funny as like a little behind the scenes thing if they were gonna make this movie to have a, like a poster on the wall, you know, and just be like it is the drinking list. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, it just like has check marks every time something happens in the movie. You know, like it's not something that is in your face, but it's just in the background enough for like any devoted Hallmark watcher to be like, wait a minute. What is that? Yes, exactly. I know. A little Easter egg. And the fact that she's a baker, right? And like, oh, incorporates the meeting this guy who's sent here to study her, which I'm guessing it probably took a while to get him out there, right? Because he's a specialist, because this is a rare thing she's got. So the right. specialist is here, and it's like, oh, we're so glad you're here to help her, but also they don't want her to lose her spirit. And then juggling that, how do we tell her? Should we tell her? I love her. I'm going to tell her. No, don't tell her. It'll ruin what we have. He tells her. Then she's pissed. The town is in 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 backwards and stuff. Dan, yes, Dan, yes, yes. It's so good. And then there's gonna be some like dance number in there. Oh my God. Alexa Penavega and Carlos uh, Penavega are they are talented musicians and dancers. So I, that's why they're my first casting choice because I'm like there's gotta be like a like a 40 year old version like uh, ending I don't know if you've ever seen the 40 year old version but it has like a a musical ending like a really weird (laughs) musical ending oh yes yes after (laughs) the age of Aquarius yeah Yeah. so I'm just like there's gotta be an ending like that where it's just like just bring out in song and dance like a Christmas song oh like uh, like in um Slumdog Millionaire, just, you know, big dramatic ending, and then just, like, dance. (laughs) Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, yes, man, I'm, I'm, Dan, I've never been more serious in my life, you, you need to pitch this to, like, Hallmark, or, or, you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tag Hallmark on Twitter with this video, like, like, Hallmark, you need to call Dan Simcock, stat. I, I mean, feel free. Uh, yeah, Hallmark, if you're watching, which I don't think you are, hit me up. I have plenty of thoughts on your movies, you know, good thoughts. <laughs> uh, let me write for you. Yes! Yes! All right, that's the plan. So, make this trend on Twitter, on YouTube, however that happens. We're going to do this. We're getting Dan to Hallmark. Or even better, we're getting Hallmark to Dan. There we go. Hopefully this Christmas you see Christmas reruns. And I forget the other title. But, yes. Yes. Yes, this is what we need. This is what we Hallmark has been waiting for. This is the gift in the stocking of life. <laughs> I think that could be another good title. The gift in the stocking of life. There we go. I'm not going to knock it. but write it down. Hallmark, take a note. Okay. All right. I think you could write her. I, I, I don't know. You feel like you have a... I feel like you have a Hallmark sensibility about you. You could do it. I have one about like an action film it's like santa and die hard and he's trying to save couples from like a grinch-esque creature oh i i love the enthusiasm i don't think hallmark's gonna run (laughs) yeah that's probably true uh but But you could probably make a christmas movie about that i just don't think hallmark is gonna buy it (laughs) (laughs) yeah they probably won't uh um i tell you what i will next time try and rise to this hallmark gauntlet in uh and come up with something, but I don't know, man. This do, do is do your do your crazy Christmas movie. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'll I'll Christmas come up with August. something, but like for real, Dan. This this is straight fire, and I am so serious, man. Run with this, please run with this. All right, uh, I will consider it, but I'm not making promises. All right. Hallmark, I'm going to call you and spam you. I'm going to find your email and send you this video. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got to write that down. Find Hallmark's email. Just the one. Info at Hallmark.com. Plus Twitter. This is all... 
Um, intellectual property of Dan Simcock. You cannot steal this. All right, this is his. If it's used, you owe him money. That's right, Omar. All right, I promise. You're, it's hey, worth yeah. your time. It's worth your time. He's the man. They call him Dan the Man for a reason. Um. Yeah. Oh man, I love this. This is great. Dan, Thanks, do you have any questions or comments or concerns? Um, honestly, I'm a little baffled by your response. Uh, <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. Uh, I did not expect this kind of like response. So, I will just say thank you for entertaining my my crazy idea. Uh, and uh, I don't know. Just thank you. No, man, I. I mean, I always look forward to, to when we record and doing this show with you because you never know what, you know, is going to come through the door. But, like, yes. Yes, the journey from here will continue. Maybe I'll make a sequel in the next one. Ooh, Hallmark, you got to holler at your boy. Here we go. Come on, Hallmark. <laughs> Break in the money. He's he's got gold for you. It's just waiting. Just waiting. Just waiting. For sure. Uh. Well, until until Tinseltown decides to decorate. Oh, I thought I had a better thing to do because that was kind of cool. But anyway, you look like Elsa there. It was it was pretty magical. Yes. What Dan is spinning is magic. Hallmark, you need to get a piece of this pie. Christmas all day, every day. Make sure you subscribe to Hallmark. Make sure you subscribe to us. Remember, go out there and be your best Noel you can. And until then, this has been... Pitch Slap! Well, bam. Stay gold, everyone.